normal POV Here we have a majestic lift off of LVM 3M4 rocket carrying India's prestigious Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft. We are nearing the final phase of the power descent, approaching the moon's surface. What an incredible moment this is for ISRO, for India's space scientists and for all of us here at CNN News 18. Unbelievable scenes, ladies and gentlemen. Sir, we have achieved soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. Jab hum apni aankho ke saamne aisa itihas bante huye dekhte hain jeevan dhantya ho jaa ye kshan jeet ke chandra pat par chalne ka so successful landing yeah. you said it's a beginning of a golden period what next sir see we have to now look at it in a different way once we achieved once we achieved a success in chandrayaan 3 it actually opens up a lot of opportunities we can uh, go to further exploration of moon because a lot of interest on moon is there <coughs> we should send our uh, bigger craft bringing sample missions sometimes we should also think about uh, going to mars land softly there so or other planets like venus and venus and others so it's a possibility that is opened out. Mm. Sir, now that we've landed, the immediate question that everyone has is, when does the rover now come out? What are the parameters that ISRO would look forward or look out for? You know, our rover will come out soon uh, because we have to do a lot of checking, we have to do a lot of verification. Then only we can decide when it should come out. So we will announce uh, maybe after all the trials are gone tonight. So most the decision will be taken tonight. So the Prime Minister has spoken to you personally and also Ardas Nishan. Yeah. He said he's spoken about Mars and Venus. How does uh, ISRO now look at the priority, sir? See, our priority is not uh, all of this. Our priority is to serve the nation, develop the capacity, capability in this nation in the science and technology, especially in space domain. And a space sector reform has been announced, and we are working with private companies in a big way to make this happen. But this, these missions are inspirational missions, no? So we must work on such missions as well. While we work on commu communication, remote sensing, and science missions, Missions such as this will always create a lot of value in the science community, creating the manpower for it and also helping a lot of scientists. Joining us, uh, Krishna sir, who is the director of ISTRAC, which is almost a nerve center for the whole Chandrayaan 3 project. Sir, last several days ever since the launch, this has been the hub of activity, the nerve center as I said. Were there any challenges, any nervous moments, sir? Every day was a challenge for us. As you, as you know that the Chandrayaan lander and the propulsion module when it was launched on July 14th from Sri Harikota, actually our work started much before that. We started our work somewhere in May 2023 where we started looking at various tracking stations which are going to provide us the data. We had to simulate the entire uh, data which comes from the uh, station and we have to see that the commands what we are going to give should go smoothly. So this was a major job before the launch itself. And since the day of launch, every day, every hour, I can say, was a big challenge for all of us because we want spotless and perfect support. So we had to plan, uh, plan A, plan B, everything we had to make to ensure that we do not get into anywhere support uh, for tracking support issues. So what next now the rover perhaps in the next few hours will come out and perhaps the most exciting time for his track starts now with the kind of data that will come out. Correct. You are uh, uh, perfectly right. The rover is waiting for coming out. Now as you know at 6, uh, six o'clock we have landed and now we have left two hours for dust to settle down. Now once the dust uh, settles down it, make, it will take about two hours Subsequently, we are going to take image of from the lander to see the environment, whether the dust has settled down. Subsequently, we are going to open the ramp. The ramp is what is used to roll down the rover from the lander. So this, this entire operation will take another two hours from the time we deploy the ramp. We have to make sure the thermal, thermal conditions on the uh, rover, on the sat, uh, lander, Everything should be good and a rover will communicate to lander 
and lander will communicate to our deep space network which is in Bailalu. Hmm. So Bailalu we have 32 meter and uh, 18 meter, two antennas, all the three antennas are providing the support for Chandrayaan 2, uh, Chandrayaan 3 today. Sir, final question. A lot of uh, expectation or questions on social media and others by enthusiasts. Once the lunar day gets over, does the rover get back into the lander one? Second, what are the possibilities of the system restarting once a new lunar day starts? Yeah, yeah it's a right question. We have done all our uh, thinking and we have put our best efforts to bring back the life of rover. We have to watch and see. This is the first mission we have done where we have landed successfully. We have to really get that experience. But design perspective, if you see, we have done our design to see that we can get back the rover. We have uh, Mr. Narayanan from the Liquid Propulsion Systems. Sir, has played a very crucial role uh, right from the launch till uh, now the soft landing. What were the challenges, sir, before the pre-launch and after launch? First and foremost, as an Indian, I am proud to be an Indian. And all Indians can be proud of this golden day Absolutely. on which we have landed. The Indians are the first, India is the first country we have successfully landed on the South Pole. So everybody can be proud. Second thing, now, if you see, after Chandrayaan 2 setback, there was a national committee which was constituted. Yeah. That national committee had so many members, including I, the professors from other places. And I am so lucky to be the chairperson of that national committee. And we thoroughly analyzed what is the reason for Chandrayaan 2 setback. Everything was analyzed and we gave the, found out the reason, we gave the recommendations, hundreds of recommendations to improve the, to realize the Chandrayaan 3. Every recommendation was implemented and we realized the Chandrayaan 3. Plus, lot of improvements. Not only our committee recommendations, so many uh, this one. And today, you have seen the performance. Absolutely. And the Chandrayaan 3, it was rotating yeah. with a speed of 6,000 km per hour. Our car speed is only 100 km yes. per hour. From 6,000 km per hour, in 19 minutes, we have to bring down the speed to zero. Yeah. And by traveling 750 kilometers. And this job is done by our propulsion system along with other systems. Mm. And perfectly we have landed. And the propulsion system is developed by Liquid Propulsion System Center, in which I am the director of the True. center. And the director alone is not responsible. My entire team is responsible mm. for the development. And today we have made a history mm. in the science of not India, world. Sir, what next? The Prime Minister has spoken about Mars and Venus. We've already had a successful Mars orbiter mission as well. We are going to have further program that we are going to, I mean, Prime Minister will announce whatever government wants for the benefit of common man of this country to take the country as a developed nation in 2047, we will execute the job.